In this video, we're going to find percentiles with a table. An adult intelligence scale is approximately normally distributed with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 10. The graph below shows a normal curve with this mean and standard deviation. In addition, it shows a percent of data below each standard deviation value rounded to one decimal place. The chart below shows z-scores for some common percentiles. So let's take a look first at this chart. So we have our normal graph. There's a mean of 100. The standard deviation is 10. So each standard deviation goes up or down another 10. Now, here's the idea behind a percentile. It tells us a percent below a score. Okay, So uh, we know the mean would be the 50th percentile. 50% 50 of the data lies below the score. Okay. In general, we usually use percentiles as whole percents. So cent means 100. So we're basically breaking it into 100 equal pieces, 1%, 2%, etc., and then finding uh, the data value where that percent falls below it. But here, since these aren't exact, uh, the standard deviations aren't whole numbers except for the 50%. We're just going to look at them as examples. So here, at 130, approximately 99.9% .9 of the data lie below it, 97.7 lie below uh, 120, which is two standard deviations above the mean. Okay. Only 0.1% of the data lie uh, to the left of 70. Okay. So I computed these using our uh, z-score calculator, but we're actually using a reverse direction. In the z-score calculator, we put in the mean and standard deviation. Here, we're going to know a percentile we want to find. So for example, in this chart, um, we have every 5% and up to 99%, and uh, the z-score that corresponds to it. Okay, So the online calculator won't do this, so we're going to use the table for this. Okay. Uh, so we're going in increments of 5 because there are 100 of them and we don't want to list all of them. And then I also included 99. So that's the largest percentile. The 99th percentile is 2.33 standard deviations above the mean. So that tells us 99% of the data lie to the left of that. Okay, So we don't have a 100th percentile because theoretically this continues on forever. Okay, Even though in a lot of practical situations it doesn't, but uh, we don't make a cutoff or a maximum uh, for normal distributions, so that doesn't make sense in this context. So let's do some. Okay, For the questions below, use the graph to determine what number of standard deviations and data values the given percentiles lie between, then use z-scores in the chart to compute the actual percentile. Also interpret the percentile in the context of the problem. Okay, so we have the 75th percentile. Okay, so looking at this, just to get a feel for it, the 75th percentile is between 50 and I think that says 84.1. So it lives in here somewhere. Okay, so that's 0 to 1 standard deviation or somewhere between a score of 100 and 110. Now to find it exactly, here's the 75th percentile has a z-score of approximately 0 0.67. So we want to use, to find the data value, we're going to use the mean plus, and now we'll just say z-score, oop, left out an s, times the standard deviation. Okay. So we have a mean of 100. Let's just write the z-score over here so we know where we got it from. The z-score for the 75th percentile was 0 0.67, so plus 0 0.67 standard deviations, and the standard deviation is 10. Since these numbers are nice, I'm going to do them by hand, or you could do them in your calculator. So we have 100, you do the multiplication first, that's 6.7. 106.7. So we would interpret that as 75% of the scores lie below 
106.7 points. Let's look at the next one. So now we have the 20th percentile. Okay, so looking at our chart down here, it looks like one standard deviation below the mean is 15.9 and this is 50. So it's gonna lie between 90 and 100 somewhere. Okay, so if we find the corresponding z-score for the 20th percentile, it's negative 0.84. negative 0 0.84 and to find the data value we take the mean which is 100 plus the z-score negative 0 0.84 times 10. Again I'll do this by hand so this would be negative 8.4 and that's the same as subtracting I'll just write that so we have it there. And what would that give us? 91.6. Okay, and that looks like basically where we approximated it. So now let's interpret this. 25% um, of the scores lie below 91.6 points. Let's look at the next one. Now we're asked to find the 80th percentile. Okay, so 80th using uh, our normal curve, that's between 50 and 84.1. So I would guesstimate it about here-ish. So it'll be between 100 and 110. And let's find our z-score. So it's 0 0.84 corresponds to 80%. So z equals 0 0.84 and the data value is the mean plus the z-score, the number of standard deviations above the mean, times 10 and that multiplies to 8.4 so we have 108.4. Okay. So that means 80% of the scores lie below 108.4 points. And finally we'll look at the 99th percentile. So that's our largest percentile. Okay, If you score in the 99th percentile on an intelligence test, that means that you're scoring higher than 99 percent of the people who took the test, which is quite impressive. Okay, but there's more to the meaning of life, so don't worry about it. Okay, so 99%, we know that three standard deviations is 99.9, two is 97.7, so this is gonna be between 120 and 130. Okay, the z-score that corresponds is 2.33, and this would give us a data value or a score of 100 plus the z-score times the standard deviation and this is 23.3 and we get a score of whoops sorry 123.3 so interpret 99 percent of the scores lie below 123.3 points.